blocking your bandwidth. This is a hassle for many people. Um, the one that I prefer to use because it's easy to remember is sp speedtest.net and simply go to speedtest.net and you will see now let's make this a little bit smaller you will see a screen that looks like this now we don't don't do anything until it says begin test but notice wherever you're at it's going to try to find the closest one I'm in the United States right now as a matter of fact we could look elsewhere but for our purposes wherever you're at in the world it's going to look for the nearest server to check then you simply click on the one that it chose and it's going to do a test and it looks like a race car first thing is checking is latency remember when we were in the classroom and we were checking our microphone that latency means how long it takes for uh, your your voice to reach the distant party now we get three things from them we get a download speed I wish I could make that show up a little bit better we get an upload speed and we get a ping test the ping test is in milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds would be one second delay in your voice getting to me or for my voice getting to you so if both of us have one second delay that would be two seconds between every single thing we say to each other when it goes very high over three or four hundred milliseconds it's very hard to conduct a normal conversation the next important thing is the download speed and that says 1.19 MBS megabytes per second okay so that's 1000 kilobytes one megabyte is the recommended bandwidth for full video and audio for just an audio only class 0 0.5 megabytes or 500 kilobytes would be adequate at WizIQ the upload speed isn't that important for what we do but it but it is significant if you're teaching and streaming your video and other things. So that's all there is for checking your, your bandwidth, and that means your connection on the Internet. That's what you need to know to be able to understand whether you have enough bandwidth to be able to enjoy a normal um, live class. If you don't, then definitely things start hanging up, you start having problems. And so um, the one thing you can ask the teacher is possibly not to stream video, that that would help your bandwidth situation. But as a rule, you would normally simply have to watch as best you can and watch the recorded view rather than the live session. So that's it for checking your bandwidth. Now if I can figure out how to shut this off.